Sapphire is one of the most recognized gemstones in the world, along with diamonds, emeralds, and rubies. After all, sapphire is a symbol of regal power, strength, and wisdom. Here are the top best royal sapphires, in my humble opinion. A unique piece of jewelry is familiar to the general public thanks to Princess Diana. Just remember her spectacular look at the Fashion Awards in New York in 1995. The Princess of Wales was adorned with a necklace of seven strands of pearls fastened with a sapphire clasp, surrounded by a scattering of diamonds. The clasp was originally a brooch and was a wedding gift to Diana from Queen Mother Elizabeth. Lady Di often complimented the necklace with diamond drop earrings with sapphires. Mary Adelaide had a rather tumultuous reign over the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, albeit short-lived. To her successor sister, Grand Duchess Charlotte, she left a sumptuous sparkling legacy, a diamond and sapphire tiara. The tiara was created in the late 19th century in the form of a crown. The tiara is decorated with a wreath pattern of laurel leaves and berries surrounding a single large sapphire. The royal stone of wisdom is removable. It can be replaced with an aquamarine. On her wedding day in 1947, the future Queen Elizabeth II received a special gift from her beloved father, King George, a small set of Victorian diamond and sapphire jewelry. The necklace and earrings date from 1850. Playwright Noel Coward marveled at the blue stones, calling them the largest sapphires he had ever seen. In 1963, Queen Elizabeth purchased a necklace that had previously belonged to Princess Louise of Belgium. Court jewelers transformed it into a tiara. To complete the sapphire set, a bracelet was also made along with the tiara. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark often wears a brooch made of diamonds, pearls, and a large faceted sapphire. The jewelry is one of the wedding gifts given to the princess from Margaret of Prussia during her marriage to Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught, Queen Victoria's third son, in 1879. The brooch came to Denmark through Louise Margaret's granddaughter, Queen Ingrid. In 2006, Queen Margaret gave the jewelry to her daughter-in-law, Crown Princess Mary, to celebrate the birth of her firstborn son, Prince Christian. One of the oldest sets of royal sapphires in Britain is the Cambridge Sapphire Parure. This set of jewelry belonged to the Duchess of Cambridge, daughter-in-law of King George III. Over time, the sapphire perure moved into the jewelry box of Queen Mary of Teck. In turn, she gave the sapphires to her daughter-in-law, Mary Duchess of Kent. The set originally included a tiara, necklace, corset jewelry, and a set of brooches. However, Queen Mary made some changes to the design of the jewelry, adding new jewelry elements. Where can we go without the jewelry of the Romanovs? Queen Elizabeth's second jewelry collection includes many pieces with Russian roots. However, the most intriguing is a brooch decorated with a large Kavokan sapphire and square-cut diamonds. The precious accessory was given to the then Princess Maria of Tech as a wedding present in 1893 by Russian Empress Maria. In 1953, the brooch was transferred to the jewelry box of Elizabeth II. Her Majesty used this jewelry accessory countless times. One of the most magnificent sapphire sets is the diamond and sapphire perure that belonged to Queen Maria Amalia of Naples, Queen of France. The set consists of a tiara, necklace, earrings, and three brooches. Some sources claim that Maria Amalia was not the first royal owner of the sapphire perure. She may have acquired it from Hortense Beauharnais, daughter of Empress Josephine. The sapphires remained in the family even after Louis Philip I lost the throne. Mary Amelia de Bourbon's descendants later sold the sapphire perure to the Louvre. The magnificent sapphire tiara in which Queen Maxima shone at the inauguration of her husband, Willem Alexander, in 2013 has a long history. The family sapphire set is actually a matrimonial pair, with different jewels set with noble blue stones, although they were not originally made as a single ensemble. The jewelry set includes a tiara, necklace, bracelets, and brooches. One of the greatest sapphire sets in the world belongs to the Swedish royal family. The perure was a wedding gift from Napoleon Bonaparte to Princess Augusta Amalia of Bavaria. 
Duchess of Luchtenberg, in 1806. Augusta's daughter Josephine of Luchtenberg brought this set to Sweden after marrying Oscar I, king of the house of Bernadotte. The set includes a massive diamond and sapphire tiara, a necklace, a pair of earrings, a brooch, and a set of hair jewelry. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and stay in touch.